It's four o'clock on a Monday. You know what that means. It's time for another exciting episode of Taxi TV Live and in Living Color. Woo! Straight from Los Angeles, the entertainment capital of Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome to the big show. Thank you, fake band. Thank you, fake audience. You get the real audience open. There you guys are. Hi, guys. And ladies, um, missed you guys. Didn't do a show last week, had a meeting. Whenever I've got a meeting downtown in LA, that means that you can never be certain as to when you're going to get back because the traffic could be 20 minutes or it could be an hour and 20 minutes. Um, unfortunately, sometimes I get stuck having meetings on Mondays. And as it turned out, I got back in time. I could have done the show, but you never know. So I didn't want to have to say, yes, I'll be there and not show up. Um, I think this show is going to be really, really interesting today. Um, oh, cool. I see Jazz Stan. Scott Hansen, where you been, Scooter? Um, veal Parmesan with spaghetti tonight. Homemade focaccia bread as always. And a side of uh, House Chianti or cider Chianti. Uh, Scott serves at his restaurant and loves telling us the menu. We love to hear it. Always wish that he could serve it through the uh, computer screen. Anyway, um, let's see, Mark Doyle, Amanda, Gloria, Mojo, some new people uh, that I haven't noticed at least before, Ruby LaRue, um, Jim Carvalho I know well, Adriana I know well, Bluesman, anyway, um, really, really glad that you guys could join me for this show today because we had a listing not that long ago and we got eight, I don't know if you call them complaints, none of them were nasty or irate, or the members were all very polite, very kind, and just said, you know, I thought I should have been forwarded for this thing. Um, can you guys check it out again? So, you know, if we get more than one or two, uh, we get a little concerned, and we want to make sure that the screeners are doing their job well. So uh, we did uh, extensive research, and uh, I involved, uh, of course, Andy, our head screener on this, and had him um, check out the pieces. Um, and he ha has communicated with many, if not all, of the members. Uh, so just to let you know, I'm going to read you the listing, and I'll tell you how many submissions we had. I know people are going to say what percentage were forward, not forwarded, not that we've got, you know, a, like a quota that we work from, but people just want to know that stuff. So... Um, the listing read, bouncy, quirky, light-hearted, full-length instrumentals are needed for non-exclusive, direct-to-producer placements on a mega-hit reality TV show. He's open to instrumentals in multiple genres, uh, which we don't see all that often. Pop, rock, EDM, hip-hop, country, children's, acoustic singer-songwriter, jazz, orchestral, etc., 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 as long as they're quirky and funny he needs well-crafted mid- to up-tempo instrumentals that could be found on shows like Honey Boo Boo, Toddlers and Tiaras. Uh, I think we have it misspelled. It looks like Toddlers and Tiaras. I thought it was Tiaras. Whatever. Extreme cheapskates, etc. Please listen to the following examples as a general guide for the quirky vibe that could work. Um, unfortunately, I didn't think to have a second uh, computer here with uh, these YouTubes sitting there waiting to play, but they would just probably... Sometimes they, they yank the show, um, the archive of the show, if we use those things in context anyway, which they shouldn't because it's illegal to use. But it was a Honey Boo Boo clip, kind of like an assemblage of Honey, Funny, Honey Boo Boo, Funny Honey Boo Boo scenes. There's a tongue twister. Um, some Toddlers and Tiaras clips, um, an Extreme Cheapskates clip, a, an Extreme Cheapskates clip. Give them instrumentals that can add a silly vibe to any scene they're placed in. Uh, you'd be smart to submit pieces that have easy edit points and button stinger endings that feel like a musical exclamation point. The show's editor will love you for that. Your instrumentals should be unobtrusive enough that they don't step on the dialogue. Think about what would complement a comical scene rather than take it over. Please do not copy or rip off the reference music in any way, shape, or form. Use them only as a guide for general feel, vibe, and tone. Broadcast quality is needed. Great sounding home recordings are fine. This is a direct to the show's executive producer pitch. So you'll keep 100% of your copyright and publishing, plus you'll uh, get any applicable sync fees and performance royalties. 
excuse me, um, you must own or control your master and copyright. Please do not copy or rip off the reference music in any way, shape, or form. Use them only as a guide for general feel, vibe, and tone. Uh, submit one to three full-length instrumentals, full-length instrumentals online or per CD. All submissions be screened, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, stuff that I highlighted. If I were reading this listing as a member and wanted to submit to this, I would go through and highlight or list the things that I think are, are the big ticket items here. Quirky or bouncy, quirky, lighthearted, full length. Direct to producer, which I think pretty strongly implies that the bar is going to be higher for something that's going directly to the show's executive producer um, rather than going to a, a library that might have a little lower bar. We want to keep this, this show runs listings with us all the time. We want to keep the relationship owing open, sorry. So we don't want to send them music that they could find from one of 50 music libraries, we want to send them stuff that's a cut above. Um, and certainly, you know, mentioning direct to producer certainly strongly implies that. Um, let's see. As long as they're quirky and funny, he needs well crafted. Yeah, 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 I've got that. Um, later on, after it gives the examples, give them instrumentals that can add a silly vibe. So we've got quirky, funny, and silly direct to producer, full length quirky and bouncy at the top of this thing. Later on it says, think about what would complement a comical scene rather than take it over. Again, it mentions the direct producer thing. So there you go. So who? Uh, I'm going to play you some forwards and returns today. Um, and I want you guys to decide. Uh, and I've got to say, um, I heard some of this stuff. I haven't heard it all. But I heard some a week or 10 days ago when, when this listing got some uh, attention from our members and was brought to this, the, my attention and the attention of the staff. And some of the stuff that was returned is very high quality. But is it right? Let's find out. So I'm not going to tell you if I am playing a forward or return. I'm very curious to see how you guys would vote. Oh, so uh, 367 submissions on this listing. 68 of them were forwarded, which works out to 18.5% of all materials submitted was forwarded, which, not bad, right? Um, and frankly, oh, some of the people that um, had issue with this were saying, hey, you guys, come on, you referenced Honey Boo Boo and Toddlers and Tiaras. Um, this cue has been in those shows. We didn't say it was for those shows. We just referenced those shows because they tend to use some music that's like this. As a matter of fact, none of the shows mentioned here are the actual show. Um, again, direct to the show's executive producer who has always been kind enough to leave an open door for us. So here we go. Let us listen. Um... Let me play you a piece. Uh, this one is called Hijinks. Hmm. You know what? I've got to make a quick annotation. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So I am going to track seven. I believe this one is called Hijinks. Let's have a listen.
That was called hijinks. Um, some of the people said, oh, go ahead, use my name. We do have permission from everybody to play their music on this episode, by the way. Some people said, mention my name. Um, I don't know where the sheet is. I don't want to mention some names and not others. Um, so cast your votes. Would you call it plus one if you would forward that for this listing, minus one if you would not? So the votes are already coming in. Uh, Indigo Gal says, great track. Goofball vibe. Uh, Mojo says, my guess this is too busy. Gotta say, I love the recording quality on that one. Um, tough one, cool music, but possibly too distracting. Um, quirky and bouncy. So now the votes are coming in. Uh, so we already had one plus one, a minus one, a plus one, a minus one, a minus one, a plus one, a minus one, a minus one, a minus one, a minus one. Whoa, a lot of minus ones. Um, quirky and bouncy, but too busy, takes over a scene. Actually, I don't even know if I, it's looking like it's maybe 50-50 or maybe, and now we're getting some plus ones, maybe 60-40 in favor of not forwarding it. Um, yeah, it, these things are kind of flying by. Um, Honestly, I don't know that I would have worded the listing so much to worry about working under the dialogue, although the show does have a lot of either monologue or dialogue on it. Um, but there are plenty of scenes in the show where it starts out with a quirky, funny, bouncy, almost absurd piece of music, and then the voice starts after like three to five seconds. So this could have started you know, at full volume and then certainly ducked underneath. Um, the listing implies children. It doesn't really imply children. It says that children's could have been used. This says pop, rock, EDM, hip hop, children's, acoustic singer, songwriter, jazz, orchestral. I mean, this was kind of almost like bebop jazz a little bit, but definitely quirkier. Uh, Minus six, and some uh, Polly says it was minus 16 overall. I don't know how many uh, plus ones. Edit points, good point. Uh, all right, anyway, okay. Um, I'm slightly on the fence on that one, but the quality was so high, it was so incredibly unique that I would want the show's producer to hear it because it's so unique and so well done that, yes, I do agree that it may have been too busy, um, but certainly it could be one of those jobs where it's up high, it's a lead in, and then ducks down. And the answer is it was, in fact, forwarded. So that was a tough one. You look, everything is tough around here. Well, you know, sometimes you hear stuff that's pretty obvious. But like I said, even a lot of the returns for this listing um, were things that I would say were really good pieces of music. And I understand people are complaining because they go, look, you know, this has been used in toddlers and tiaras and honey boo boo. Um, and, and we couldn't give you the name of the show on this one. So there you go. That's the first one. So we're going to call that one a draw, I think, because it was probably, Polly says that includes plus one and minus one added up. Um, Anyway, just from eyeballing them as they went by, I would say it was roughly 50-50, uh, maybe 60-40 in favor of not forwarding it. Okay, now, uh, let me play something called Strange Episode. All right, here we go. This is called Strange Episode. <laughs>
Don't vote early. It may influence other people. All right. Cast your votes. Plus one for a forward, minus one if you had not forward. And you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to see if I can find what the screener said on this one. So many of you are making a rookie screener mistake here, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Gloria, you can't base it on the last forward. It's not a competition. We don't do that. Indigo Gal says, not quirky, rather playful, and not bouncy, really. Uh, S. Pecorino says, not quirky, but I like it. Um, TC Atlantic says, not silly, very good. Uh, wow, dug it. Mischievous, quirky, I don't know, says Ruby LaRue. Uh, a few of you have said, I'm a bit worried it's too varied for under a single scene. Um, Uh, 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 Polly's giving me numbers, but I'm not understanding what you're saying, Polly. Plus 15 so far. Um, I, what I need to, if you want to tally up, you know, and, and give me 15 forwards and 14 returns, that, that makes sense to me. Um, but anyway, some of you picked up on it. A lot of you didn't. A lot of you made the mistake of going, that's a tremendously good cue. And it was. That was superb work. Nobody would deny that 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 was incredibly good work. But was it quirky and funny? Mm, not so much. Um, did it, somebody mention, uh, you know, uh, gosh, what was the, like the old Warner Brothers cartoons, you know, the, where, where's that wabbit? Elmer Fudd and the wabbit. Um, somebody mentioned Disney. Absolutely. I, I would completely agree with that. Um, did it have a silly vibe? It had, there was a different kind of vibe. Um, I can't explain it. Um, you know, it's like the, almost like a, yeah, it's Elmer Fudd looking around, you know, behind the trees and in the holes for the wabbit. Um, but is it, is it quirky and funny? I don't know. Is it bouncy and quirky? Not as bouncy and quirky as that other one, um, but incredibly good. I will say that this was incredibly good. So here is what the screener wrote. And by the way, this screener um, is a huge music supervisor. Um, and anyway, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, this piece is too complex harmonically. A simpler, innocent, and more humorous approach would have worked better. So... Yeah, it just, 
it, it didn't quite have the quirky, silly vibe to it. Um, but it was a great piece of music. So, you know, sometimes it kills us when we can't forward something where they're looking for something specific. Will that get forwarded for other listings? Absolutely. Freaking lootly. Um, but just incredibly good work, and that member should be proud of it. Okay. Um, Yeah, so Gloria Covington says, so not quirky, bouncy, and funny. Yeah, well, like I said, look, it's got the word quirky in the listing um, two or three times. Um, let's see, it's got bouncy, quirky. It's got quirky and funny. It's got add a silly vibe. Um, complement a comical scene. That would complement a com comical scene, scene, but you know what? That piece of music was almost a scored piece. You know what I mean? If you, that's what you would expect a score to a Bugs Bunny um, piece to be like. So now I'm at, uh, that would give away the show. Anyway, okay. So we played that one. We played that one. This next one is called Puzzled Monkey. You guys getting enough level, by the way? Faked out. <laughs> okay, pretend they were applauding for a solo. Johnny Utah says, will it ever end? Johnny Utah, what movie? Uh, Breaking Point, great movie. Cast your votes, plus one for a forward, minus one for a return. And, Polly, if you would be so kind to give me the point break. Yes, it's a great movie. I just saw that like a month ago. I could watch that movie like twice a year and never get bored. 
But if you've seen any video or photos of Lori Petty, who was adorably cute in that movie, she's become a little less adorable as she's aged. Haven't we all? And by the way, I, did, I think I mentioned this, but in case I didn't, I believe all these people, um, I'm not just playing stuff randomly, I think that all the um, stuff I'm playing, uh, all the stuff that will reveal itself as a return um, was stuff where they questioned the screener's um, abilities or decisions, let's say. Okay, so... Polly says, 24 returns, unanimous, and gotta say, you guys are correct. The screener actually did return that. So, good job, you guys. Good ears on that one. Good call. Again, not a bad piece of music. It could have been a little shorter. Maybe it was a little repetitive, but the quality was there. Um, Polly's giving us an update. 28 returns and two forwards. Uh, okay, so, yeah, and people said not silly, not funny. Um, I think it sounded slightly Middle Eastern or Eastern. Maybe uh, it was for the, uh, the East Asian or uh, Central Asian version of a Warner Brothers cartoon, Bugs Bunny... Uh, Goes to the Middle East or something. All right, let's listen to another one. Um, let's see. Let's go to... Okay, this one is called Wigwam Wiggle. clarinet don't cast your votes too early guys don't want to influence the other uh, people in the electorate Thanks, Vicky. Yeah, 
you guys are talking about the kitten show and the cute puppy show and all this. Yeah, this would work great for that stuff. All right, please cast your votes, ladies and gentlemen. Plus one for a forward, minus one if you would not. Polly, I'm electing you to be our statistician, please. You're doing a fine job so far. Um, great to see a lot of familiar faces on today's show. Love having you guys here. Um, so it was full length. It was bouncy. Um, fairly quirky. I mean, not absurdly quirky, but kind of quirky. Um, I love the instrumentation, personally. Um, let's see. Complimented comical scene. Silly vibe. I'll see what you guys come up with. Vibe is not quirky so much as happy and carefree. A uh, little Trump, and I'm dying. I want to tell you guys the show, but I really just can't because we run a lot of listings for these people, and they're very kind to us, very kind to our members. I don't want to blow the relationship, but uh, and we can't really give you any hints to the show because people would figure it out and then do end runs and start sending packages to executive producer of XYZ show. Um, Yeah, there were a few edit points. Okay, Polly says we had 27 forwards and nine returns. Um, and you guys would be correct on that one. The majority wins because it was, in fact, a forward. And again, like I said, sometimes it's just... we. I wish I could tell you the show because if you knew the show, you'd go, yeah absolute no-brainer but we can't tell you the show I'm so sorry and then and there are only one or two other shows like it and then you'd be able to narrow it down and go well it's one of those three um, so there you go um, that was wigwam wiggle great job and that was a forward and now let's go to a song called I love this title limping panda <laughs> That's definitely, it's going to draw the ire of the World Wire. What do, what do those guys call? They use a panda in their logo, World Wildlife Federation, I think, something like that. Um, hey, look, it's a limping panda. Somebody's going to rescue the thing and put a cast on its leg. The limp will be gone. All right, here we go. Limping panda. Striptease Panda. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was called Limping Panda. 
And I'm curious to see how you vote on that one. God, it's killing me. I so badly want If you knew the show, I think you guys would 100% agree with the screeners. And as I often tell you, we, do, we don't hide information. We actually work really hard to ferret out all the information that we can give you. But this is one of those cases where if we gave you uh, another example show, you'd go, okay, well, it's got to be this one, that one, or that one. It'd be so obvious to you. Um, and, Polly, I'm putting you in charge again of totaling the stuff up. The show is locked up raw. Nope. <laughs> Holly says he thinks this one's the closest so far in the voting with 17 forwards and 14 returns. Yeah, I could make a case both ways for this one. I mean, certainly, again, the quality was there. There's no question. We're not hearing any dreck, right? I think we'd all agree on that. Uh, it's all good stuff. And again, we did have, which it's extremely rare that we have some sort of secret knowledge that you guys don't. But in this case, like I said, we can't disclose the show, but if you guys knew the show, I think you would agree with the screener. Um, and the answer was, this one was, in fact, forwarded. Um, okay. You guys are doing well so far. Either You guys are doing well, the screen <clears throat> screeners are doing well. Hmm, I seem to have a little frog in my throat. It must be time for some rock star this week drinking. Um, the flavor is called Punched, zero calorie. Mmm, actually is good. Tastes like a little bit like Hawaiian Punch with fizz and caffeine, but not a lot of caffeine. Um, Okay. Excuse me. Uh, all right. We are moving on. And this one is called Blueberry Sky. I actually love the title on this one. Um, doesn't quite tell me what it's going to sound like, but it's just a really good, uh, really good title, I think. So let's have a listen. Somebody says theatrical, not feeling any, another person says not feeling any blueberry or sky in this one. Ooh. Sounds kind of wondrous. Uh, can't see the scene, short melody line. Rhythm is definitely quirky. Doesn't move enough. Nice brass. Listing says your instrument should be unobtrusive enough that they don't step on the dialogue. Um, 
Emil says, yawn, but yeah, nice brass. Tempo could be up a bit. So comments are kind of all over the board. Um, let's go ahead and cast your votes. Plus one for a forward, minus one for a return. And Polly, if you would kindly do the honors again. Ruby LaRue says, where's the fun? Right here, Ruby. Wherever I'm at, that's where the fun is. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a fun guy. I go to a party and stand in a corner. Go to a barbecue. I'm flipping burgers so I can avoid the crowds. <laughs> Gareth Ebbs, walking out on the plank there, dude, saying he's going to chance a plus one. Mary Ban, I'm going against the crowd with a plus one. Chelsea, a plus one. Uh, Lamar Pecorino plus one, Michael Mitchell plus one. Um, okay, so far, and Paulie's doing a little bit of an early total because they're still rolling in, but so far the subtotal uh, is 22 returns and five forwards. I think we're going to update that in a second. I love doing these shows. I, I think it's great training for you guys. It, if Nothing else, it makes you really think hard about, am I being true to what they're looking for? And I, and I know it, it's hard to judge your own stuff. Um, 25 returns and six forwards. So it's basically a four to one ratio. And Ruby says, yeah, baby. All right, uh, Blueberry Sky, you guys were in fact correct. You voted four to one in favor of the screener's decision, and the screener did not forward it. So good job, you guys. I'm proud of you guys. I love when you get it right. Um, yeah, I liked it too. Martin Frog says he liked it. Uh, did not fit the listing. Uh, S. Pecorino says, took me a long time to decide. Uh, Brad Angel or Angel says, greatly appreciate you going over these. Keith LeBrant. Hi, Keith. Um, going by too quickly. It's fabulous training for submitting to listings, Taxi TV. Yes, it is. I, I agree. Um, Bluesman makes a great point. Says, the problem for me is it's much easier to critique others versus something I made myself. But you know what? Although I'm not a big fan of the family and friends giving opinions, um, when you just ask for an opinion, is this great? Do you love this? They're going to say yes to not hurt your feelings. More often than not, people are going to be overly kind. But I swear, if you give them the listing and circle or underline the key points and then say, do you think that this matches these points? They're going to be much more honest because they won't be offending you. They won't fear offending you by giving you an opinion as to whether or not it hits the points. You're not asking them to give you an opinion as to the overall quality. Um, Polly, dude, you can't leave. You are our official scorekeeper. Oh, man. Uh, okay, can somebody take over as scorekeeper, please? Um, Oh, Polly says he's not leaving. They're waiting. Atta boy. There's a true taxi TV watcher. Okay, I'm going to pick up the pace, try and fire through all these guys, although we're doing pretty well on time. Okay, now we're going on to one called TikTok. I'll bet you anything that it's got a clock like rhythm. It certainly signals that in the title. Let's find out.
All right, while you guys are casting your votes, plus one for forward, minus one for return, I've seen a few people mention that stuff sounded, you know, a little MIDI-like. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it says broadcast quality is needed. Great sounding home recordings are fine. Um, I don't think it says anything about authentic sounding instruments. I'm scanning and I'm not seeing it. It doesn't say, you know, please avoid stiff MIDI driven stuff because frankly, I can think of some applications for quirky, bouncy, funny, silly music where MIDI stuff would be fine. Um, so was this one that we just listened to, um, bouncy, quirky, full length, um, quirky and funny? Did it have a silly vibe? Could it complement a comical scene? Um, let's find out. Hey, Polly, are you a man or a lady? By the way. It's a composer. It used to do this stuff back in the probably 40s, 50s, or 60s, maybe that whole range. I can never remember his name. Loved his work. You know, a big famous composer. Did a lot of movies. Wow, like a 10 to 1 ratio so far. Um, 32 forwards and 3 returns so far. Polly is all man. <laughs> Well, say Bruce Jetter used to be. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh, that's good. Good advice. Uh, good observation, Michael. Bruce Miller uh, could have used a splash symbol in place of the ding here or there. Nice, nice uh, suggestion. Okay, Mary Band is a lady, and Polly is a guy. It's funny, I feel like, I mean, most of you guys at this point, I, I would say, are, are friends. I feel like I know you guys. Sometimes even, you know, disclose stuff about your personal lives, and we become this little family or community. And, and in some cases, I have no idea what your gender is. Talk about gender equality. Bluesman says he thinks this is the best for the listing so far. Um, did Polly post a total and I missed it? Taxi is a community. I agree, Amanda. Clyde says we are a family. It, it, it's... <laughs> Dad, can I borrow the card? No, Scott. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, I really, I, I miss the shows on the weeks when I can't do it. I really miss hanging out with you guys. It's fun. Sometimes I've been known to spend, you know, like four or six hours on a Sunday, sometimes longer. You know, I'll just take an entire Sunday prepping a show. And my wife is like, Michael, come on. Yeah, I've seen you ad lib these things. You know, why are you putting so much effort into it? But it's because I care about you guys. I want you to get the best possible information. Um, all right, uh, I haven't seen, oh, here we go. Polly says 32 forwards, 10 returns. So here's another one. I mean, we're kind of ranging, you know, like four to one in favor of the screener getting it right. A couple of 10 to ones um, in favor of the screeners getting it right. Um, I mean, okay, screeners are, are, are doing great so far. Okay, let's listen to one now that is called Perpetual. Which would be great for one of the little kitten or puppy shows. Perpetual. Wow, that's loud.
<laughs> yeah, that last one, TikTok. I'm sorry, it was a forward. Scott Hansen says he'd embarrass his wife and kids by doing the robot. Or embarrass his kids. All right, I'm a, I'm, this one is largely repetitious, so I'm going to kill it. Sorry, I hope I'm not offending the member, but we get the idea. Um, there's that famous... Taxi TV fade. Um, cast your votes, plus one for a forward, minus one if you would not forward it. And yes, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the last one, which was called TikTok, which a lot of you guys really liked. Um, you voted in favor of the screener by a ratio of 10 to 1, I believe, and that one was, in fact, a forward. Yeah, I could see that, the one we just listened to, um, Perpetual, being used for, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the film um, Let's Be Cops, um, which I can't remember if we had something placed in there direct to supervisor. We certainly pitched to it. Um, we had several listings for that one. And, and they used a lot of, uh, well, it, it, certainly a lot of hip-hop stuff, and I think maybe even a couple of quirky hip-hop pieces in that one. Um, not quirky, but a nice groove, not silly or fun. Uh, it's a bit dark, has a bizarre quality, like Mad Scientist vibe. That's interesting. Sounds good, but wrong listing. Yeah, we haven't heard, like I said, not one piece of Drek. Um, and, 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 you know, it's not like we researched looking for returns. The, this was all driven by people that I believe wrote to us and said, really, you know, do you think the screener really got, uh, got it right on my thing? Wow. Um, okay, a lot of people said they liked it, but not for this listing. Um, 41 returns to one forward um, from Wendy out of guilt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Wendy goes on to say Wendy has no clue. <laughs> Wendy ruined the no-hitter in the ninth inning. <laughs> You guys are hysterical. All right, uh, so there you go. Uh, you guys were correct. Uh, the screener did not forward that. Again, not a bad piece of music, and there's certainly scenes that you could imagine that for. Uh, in the movie Let's Be Cops, a couple of guys uh, rent costumes to go to a costume party. It turns out uh, to not be a costume party, I think, and they dress up like cops. So they end up playing the role of cops and doing a lot of cop things and getting themselves into deep trouble. It's a, it's a better movie than I expect it to be. It's certainly not rocket scientist. Definitely not going to win any Oscars. Worth a watch on cable? Absolutely. Um, and when you watch the movie, think of this song because it could have been used in there. Uh, Terry Lemon says, many hip-hop listings lately, loving them. Boy, is it just me, or have we had a, um, a ton of instrumental listings for you guys lately? Uh, and you're right, we've had quite a few hip-hop listings. It's a popular genre. It gets used, so many movies use it for, um, you know, scenes driving through the hood, um, I, I don't know, I can't think of any other scenes, but hip-hop gets asked for a lot, and I think everybody should invest some time in learning to do good hip-hop cues, because they are requ requested frequently. Okay, moving on. So that one was called Perpetual. Now we're moving on to Wappensocker from, oh, can't say, Wappensocker. 
Ooh, guitar bass. Got a son watching. I'm gonna have to clean up my language. Four score says, "Mammy, little baby, love shortener bread." You know what? We're getting so politically correct, you won't be able to say mammy soon. Cast your votes. Plus one for a forward, minus one for a return. And remember, um, quirky and funny, a silly vibe, a comical scene. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. I'm going to go back somebody. I think Michael Mission or somebody. Where'd that go? Somebody had given out a definition. Here we go. Michael Mission gave out a definition of quirk. It is uh, equals uh, idiosyncratic, unpredictable, vagary. A sudden sharp turn or twist, quirky equals strikingly unconventional, far out, offbeat, way out, kinky, odd, unusual, um, eccentric, curious, peculiar, unpredictable, fanciful, uh, whimsical, capricious, bizarre, etc. So, wow, uh, quirky can mean a lot of things, but those all make sense, right? Okay, scrolling down. So was that quirky, funny, comical, silly? Island country. Um, sounds like my neighbor. Martin Frog gave us a maybe plus one. Sorry, that's cheating. Um, love the guitar in that. <laughs> Guys, you can't cast a maybe plus one. Seriously. That's kind of like voting for a president. <laughs> I mean, maybe not as serious, but you get the idea. Well, I was kind of going to vote for Obama, but then I maybe thought I ought to vote for John McCain. Who ran against Obama last time? Um, what's his name? Utah. From Utah, not Johnny Utah. <laughs> um, hey, Russell, there you are. Hey, by the way, did you, did any of you guys see um, the Beach Boys movie, the the Brian Williams? I for, forget what it was called now, but really, really, really good movie. I think it just left theaters recently. I'm sure it'll be showing up on cable or pay per view, or, or not pay per view, but you know, um, where you rent Mitt Romney. Uh, it was way better than I expected. <laughs> 
Scott Hansen reminds me of the last Stevie Wonder video, which, by the way, Stevie Wonder has yet to see. Oh, dear God. Uh, man. All right, I am waiting for Polly to give us a total. Unless he did, and I missed it because I was busy commiserating with my people. <laughs> wow, Brian Wilson live. That would be a great show. Just waiting for a total here, and then we'll move on. It's funny. I was having, uh, I had lunch today with uh, Tony Van Veen, who's the CEO of Disc Makers and CD Baby, and he's a really good friend of mine. We've known each other for, I don't know, like 10, 15 years, and you know, uh, when he and his wife and kids were in town, we had them over for dinner. Uh, just great people. And Tony and I have gone on two or three fishing trips together over the years. Anyway, uh, he was in town for a day, and we had lunch. And I noticed towards the end of the lunch, I was starting to feel a little stuffy up here. And uh, it, I started heading into a full-on allergy attack. Um 18 forwards on that one and 23 returns. So it was closer than most, but the people who returned it are, in fact, the correct people. Um, yeah, that was returned. Um, and I like the guitar. In it. It, it just wasn't, uh, wasn't quite correct. Quirky enough. Anyway, so I took a, uh, a Benadryl when uh, Tony and I came back up to the office after lunch. He went in our conference room to do a little work. He knew I was prepping for taxi TV. And I took one of those little pink Benadryls he get over the counter at the drugstore. And just like 30 seconds ago, he kicked in. And now I'm like, bleep, bleep, bleep. Okay, uh, now let us listen to, ooh, I love the title of this one, although it makes me feel um, like I need some sort of... Uh, Depends or something, and I'll tell you why in a second here. Uh, it's called Wee Wee Wee. <laughs> here we go. This is Wee Wee Wee. Aloe Aloe, but I've seen the uh, sister show, Vera Vera. Oh, I'm not even going to repeat that Helen Keller joke. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to know you guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, cast your votes. Curious to see how you guys voted on this one. That was called Wee Wee Wee, and not the French version. Uh, this was W E E W E E um, W E. Wee Wee Wee, all the way home. Plus one for a forward, minus one. And we've only got uh, two more to listen to. We're bringing the show on uh, in time today. Only some of us. Yes, I'm only embarrassed to know some of you. Not mentioning Scott Hansen's name, who I adore. He's just, he's funny. Someday, and I keep, I, I am going to do this. Someday I'm going to fly to Cleveland and surprise Scott Hansen. I hope he's not out of the office or out of the restaurant that day, but I'm going to show up and I am going to do a show live from the restaurant. Maybe we'll get the uh, diners to join us and vote on songs or something. That'd be a lot of fun. And we've got other taxi members that are friends of mine in Cleveland, I believe. Um, so we could invite them to join us. Okay, so let's go back to the top of that one. And this one is called Confused and Amused. forgot to post the last one Polly says was 29 forwards 12 returns um, and that was for a song called we 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 and you guys once again right as always uh, screener forwarded that one okay so the one we just heard was called confused and amused um, let's cast your votes plus one um, if you thought that was quirky and funny you had a silly vibe um, and would complement a comical scene was it bouncy, quirky, uh, lighthearted, quirky and funny, a silly vibe? All those things, or most of those things. Um, yeah, pitsy strings are, are quite the thing lately. Yeah, if you guys are hearing me but not seeing video, um, refresh your thing. Um, not quite quirky, bouncy and light enough, elegant but not funny, silly, Polly's confusing numbers with the HR, de HR Derby, um, uplifting, I don't think we had uplifting in there though, see that's the thing, I mean, I've, I've liked every one of these I think. Fits with Honey Boo Boo and Toddlers, didn't have enough buttons. Only needs a button at the ending. Um, okay, so where'd it go? 22 forwards, 13 returns. Um, somewhat close, but it's still uh, pretty much in favor of the forwards on that one. And let's see. Whoa, you guys disagreed with the screener on that one. Um, that one, let's see what the screener said on that one. Uh, 
and the screener said return. Um, this is also a bit too mellow for this. Um, and, and the reason that the screener said that is the previous song. This is one of three submitted by this gentleman. And the screener said, this is too laid back for this project. They need music with a bit more energy. Um, they didn't say energy technically in the listing, but you would kind of imagine that uh, quirky, funny, silly certainly might not be laid back. The screener says too laid back for the project. Um, they need music with a bit more energy. So that's, or no, the well, and then he agreed for the actual song, Confused and Amused. The screener agreed with himself, uh, repeating his last statement. This is also a, too, a bit too mellow for this. So I'm curious. Um, you know, I would be on the fence with that one. Maybe a little more scored, you know, not so, like, tubas and clarinets silly, but um, t just so wonderfully executed that I would have been on the fence about that one. Willie Booger Blue says Screener was wrong in this one. Um, Amanda says, I was right. Woohoo, I'm scoring well. Uh, Michael Bruce Miller brings up a point that nobody else is saying that the examples were more sparse. Um, he also says, often with instrumental cues, you want more of a gesture than a fully harmonized melody. That's interesting. Uh, Michael, uh, <laughs> no. do I have a ceiling fan? You keep hearing something when uh, you're not speaking. Nope, that is my trusty CD player because um, I don't want to suck any memory uh, out of my laptop and take a chance on blowing us offline during the show. Um, hey, Robbie Hancock, how are you? You don't have to apologize for being late. Uh, Kangaroo Magoo says didn't make my head bob like the panda song um, Mojo says right the melody is well developed oh god you guys are still doing the Helen Keller jokes Oh, come on, you guys. Uh, what'd you think about the music? Okay. Um, anyway, uh, so you guys agreed with the screeners, I believe. We played uh, a dozen songs today. Um, Big Shot Bosses, let's hear forward. We've been playing forwards all day. Um, we played a lot of forwards. Um, we played six forwards. And we played six returns. So you're going to have to go back and watch the show. Uh, you'll be able to discern which ones were forwards because I'll mention it afterwards. Um, it started out quirky, then settled down. It was definitely more of a scored approach. Um, you know, kind of depends on the context of the scene. It was certainly, certainly high quality, and I know this gentleman. I think he's an excellent composer. Certainly knows what he's doing. Anyway, I think this was very educational. I hope you guys found it to be educational, too. Um, we didn't hear one piece of music today that was, like, ooh, not that good, right? And we keep seeing that more and more uh, frequently as the years drag on that we do this show that there's so many members that didn't even know what film and TV instrumental cues were two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, certainly not 10 or 15 years ago. And now they're producing high quality work, getting it into a lot of libraries, getting a lot of placements directly with supervisors. Once again, I want to reiterate before I wrap the show up, because um, Paulie's family's getting hungry, he needs to split. Um, thank you guys for watching the show. Remember, there were 367 submissions. Uh, I mean, we've had as many as like a thousand plus submissions for listings in the past. We get we, a lot of the listings we run, we get 22 or 67 or 48. So don't think that we get hundreds for all of them. Um, but out of 367 submissions, 68 of them were forwarded, which is 18.5% was the forward rate on that. Um, 
so there you go. Um, thank you so much for watching. I have no, no, no idea what I'm going to do for next week's show yet. Um, but I love doing these. I, I especially love doing these listening shows. So thank you so much for showing up, you guys. I will see you next week for another exciting episode of Taxi TV Live. And thank you to all the people who let us ver very graciously let us use their music on the show. Bye-bye. There's the audience. Bye, you guys.